Okay. Recording. Two 1972 U.S. Uh, public opinion polls found that approximately 78 of white Americans perceive only children as being disadvantaged. Times have recently changed and it appears that the public opinion has now shifted. During the Beijing regime in 1949, the living conditions flourished somewhat. Chinese couples adapted a more children, more effective um, lifestyle that ultimately led to a baby boom. Because of this baby boom, we saw a dec uh, decline in food supply, housing, medical services, educational facilities, and much more. This caused a social problem in China. In 1979, they implemented a one child for one couple policy. Now, the purpose of this was to cap the population growth at 1.2 billion. Over 70% of major Chinese provinces are now one-child uh, one home households. Now this study looks into the um, mental health conditions of only children in both rural and urban areas. The research selected two different schools, one from an urban community, the other from a rural community. A total of 360 students <laughs> participated. They were given a ballpoint pen and an incentive to participate in the questionnaires. The teacher passed out over 60 questionnaires to six classes and the data was collected from both schools in 10 days. The validation um, questionnaire return rate for urban schools was 83%. However, for rural schools, that was 92.5%. Or 92.5%. The questionnaire included such things as age, sex, siblings, household structure, and location of the schools they attended. Now, with some of the other questionnaires, it included general health questions. Um, we had a self-esteem scale, a um, self-rating depression, and also what they call love awareness. Now, with this love awareness, you know, each, excuse me, the love awareness. Now, each questionnaire provided insight for real effects of the only child growing up in China. Um, the students were split into two groups. There was the urban-only children and the urban-non-only children in one group, and there was the rural-only children and the non-only children from rural areas in another group. The research wanted to see the effects of love awareness. Now, levels of love, love awareness had significant effects on the mental health tendencies of the children. Now, children with low emotional support from family members and peers had a higher mental health tendency. Now, the students with higher love awareness had lower levels of the mental health tendencies. Um, mental health tendencies compared to the urban non-only children with the only children had a big difference. The only children did show the higher levels of um, dependency and negative um, negative mental health tendencies. Now the question I must ask is why? Manicata identified love awareness from others as basic desire and when the desire is actually satisfied you see happiness and this is fulfillment. When it's not you see the higher levels of the mental health. Now, every year, 15 million peasant families move from their rural areas to the urban city because they are growing in the employment. It's a fast-growing industry within the urban areas. So they're moving out here, and most of them are working for extended family. And because of this, they're losing time with their family and with their children. Most urban parents actually value the quality of education and most urban students stay late after school with high hopes of exceeding expectations and excelling in college. 
However, um, in rural areas, there is a more of a community bond. This allows more love awareness. This allows them to grow together as a community. And you saw this in the results with rural students and the um, results of the questionnaires. As a result of a lower negative mental health tendencies, urban not only children had better mental um, health tendencies than urban only children. And we must think, how is this effective to us today here in America? Well, Chinese, you know, China took the initiative to look at the growing population. This is something that maybe we should consider, not going to an only child policy, but looking at how that can affect us in the near future and maybe taking control prior to having to implement a plan like this.